Hi friends, it's Joe Chadburn, the Ambassador Network Director here at World Missionary Press. I'm here with Helen Williams. Welcome, Helen. Thank you. Yes, so as usual, I know that you have some testimonies for us from different places on the globe. So we're interested in hearing that. I do. I have um, one particular thing I want to start with, Joe. I'm really excited about, you know, um, for years, we've not been able to send things directly into Russia. Mm. And um, there's such a great need, and there are those working there, but we just haven't been able to do anything. So um, recently, about a year ago, and then again uh, recently, we've been able to uh, authorize printing of our scripture booklet, How to Know God in Russian, in Russia. Hmm. And uh, we got some reports back from the first printing, which are so exciting. And I want to share a couple of those, if that's okay. Absolutely. Um, they said that they, they're passing out this, uh, the scripture booklets and um, people would say, well, what is this that you're handing out? And they tell them that uh, this is a, a word that will change your life. He says the information that's written in the booklet is so important. It talks about God, who he is, what he's done for each one. People thank us, tell us that what we're doing is the right thing. I thank you for these booklets because uh, it understands the role of the word of God plays in a person's life. And he is, he is just so excited. He's one of the directors of that group. Another person says 10,000 booklets were distributed in their city against the background of the epidemic uh, or pandemic. People are increasingly thinking about God and gratefully accept the booklets. So they're having great um, response to the booklets. Mm. Uh, this person says that they they give them out and they, they gave to one man and he was very open. Somebody had given him a booklet even before that. And he uh, we explained the need to pray, the prayer of repentance and explained how to pray to God. He asked if he could pray for the protection of his grandmother. So he said that he would pray for the prayer of repentance at home. Uh, it's interesting that the, this time he said the Lord didn't ask us to pray with people uh, right there because many of them were at work, but people took the booklets with such gratitude, listened to the gospel and promised to pray at home. And one person, he says, I remember one person who came up to us and when he heard that God loves him, he was very touched by those words because he does not have a father and he never heard that God is his father in heaven and that God loves him. Amazing. So they have requested another 300,000 copies to be printed in Russia, which we are, have authorized and are going to be doing. So um, this is where something looks like it's closed to us, but mm. it's not closed to the spirit. It's not closed to the word. And um, I'm always, I am always want our people to understand, those who, who hear these, uh, these posts and these blogs, that there are people out there that are faithfully doing whatever they can given the circumstances and they are staying at the work and we are just blessed to provide for them. Amen. There's another one here from a lady. Um, she, uh, she orders a lot from us. Um, she orders for Peru. She goes on courier trips, taking Bibles and booklets and things into Peru. And she goes into Lima uh, and they go particularly to the, uh, the poverty areas where it's really, really, um, really bad. And, and I have had the privilege of being there and seeing um, how people live in these situations and the great need. And um, she orders, she's been doing this for 25 years. She said, it's getting a little harder. She's 74 now but she's making these trips back and forth into these areas uh, to take our scripture booklets. Um, and I, I just, uh, I'm so encouraged by her. She's, uh, she's just a dear, dear lady, but she's taken another trip in August and she asked us to pray for just, she said, it's just getting harder for her. And I can appreciate that, how hard mm. it could be at that time to go, but she's been doing these for years. And so, um, there's another one who's just following where the Lord leads and just, uh, uh, taking the material to those that may not otherwise have a chance to get it because uh, they are um, um, kind of the the poorer side, if you will, and those that just don't have access. So mm -hmm. um, she said that Lima is one of the most densely populated cities in the world. And she said, uh, you just can't, unless you've been there, 
you just can't see the immensity of the poverty, both physically and spiritually. So she has a burden and uh, we're able to help her. And I think that's just wonderful. We have a, a distributor in the Minneapolis area, in Minnesota, in the Minneapolis area, um, who's been uh, using our booklets for years. And in that city, in that area, there's been a lot of unrest and uh, rioting and just, um, um, just unrest. And she's, as for booklets, and she said, even in this time, people are more open to the gospel than ever before. Um, uh, people are coming to Christ con constantly. Hunger for the word of God is great. Uh, the, that Minneapolis Twin Cities area is home to a diverse group of people. And the booklets are extremely helpful to reach some of the largest people groups here. And she ordered Somali, Hmong Da, Simplified Chinese. But I, the point I wanted to, to let you know is that there, even in these situations, there's someone there. There are people there looking for opportunities and uh, asking for the material. And because we have it in so many different languages, uh, we can uh, provide so that they can uh, pass the word on, uh, in this in this case, to the Somalis and um, uh, those from Cambodia and th that region. Um, our distributors are eyes open and they're looking. So Wonderful. I had another one here. He's from Pennsylvania, and he goes all over the world uh, giving out script, uh, giving out tracts and, and our scripture booklets. And um, the reason I really like this one um, is um, that he's going to Turkey, which is another place where it's difficult and getting harder all the time. Mm. And so he's ordered thousands of booklets in Turkish, both Cyrillic and Roman Arabic. Um, and uh, he's going taking a tour, uh, taking a trip in in uh, late August. And again, someone else that's going and doing into places where uh, maybe we can't go, uh, but the booklets are getting in. So, sure. and I had one more then. This one you may have seen and may have used, but I want to, I want to share it. This is from um, uh, one of our major distributors in um, Honduras. And we had an interview with him the other day, oh no, a few weeks ago. And um, he said the pastors that he gives the booklets to, they say that we were looking for a reason to talk to people. It's always awkward. However, then they're giving out food uh, to go along with this due, due to, mm. to the problems down there. But he said the booklets are a door opener for people to evangelize going from door to door. They give the churches the tools to open the door and lead people to Christ. These booklets are slowly read and meditated upon inside of prisons and even in their homes now that they're shut in in many cases they're more prone to pick them up and read them and we hear that over and over again he said um wmp literature has played a bigger role in our ministry this year 2020 than ever before people are looking for answers no matter if we're out beating the streets giving out food through our feeding program or whatever we always give how to know god and again it's how to know god mm -hmm. with every item that we donate so even during these times of shutdown we're still harvesting 20 to 50 decisions for christ every each and every week so um I want people to be encouraged that God is spirit is still moving. His word is still powerful. It's still going out into places where it looks like the doors may be shut or the opportunities are, but uh, so the word's going out. That is wonderful. And if you are happen to be listening or watching, I know that you have testimonies too, if you're distributing our booklets and we would love to share those with others and Amen. encourage them. And who knows, you may give someone a new idea, a fresh idea of how they can spread the gospel in their situation. So Amen. what you have to share and what you're doing is very important. So if you're ordering our materials, distributing them, uh, just share share, please, the testimonies from them, and even the logistics of how you're doing what you're doing, because it may just be the spark that someone else needs to reach a lot of people in their community and perhaps around the world. Well, thank you so much, Helen. Uh, to all our viewers, listeners, God bless you. We love you. Have a wonderful week.